Google Plus Manager Access. What is it and how do I use it? That and more in today's episode. It used to be that running a community channel meant you had to give out your username and password to many people in order for them to collaborate and upload and do the things that they need to do. Nowadays, Google Plus has integrated what's called manager status into Google Plus. So for instance, if you and a friend are both doing things on a community channel, you can give them access to upload without having to give them your username and password. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set this up and how to make the most out of your time here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and jump to the desktop and we'll look at that now. Okay, so here we are on my personal gaming channel. If I wanted to allow someone else to upload content to this channel, it would be as simple as going to the upper right hand corner, going to Google Plus. I can then go over here and click settings. From here, I can go to the Managers screen. As you can see, I have no other managers, but I can add one. We're gonna to go to that, and we're going to add Game Mode 5 at gmail.com. The reason that we're adding this particular email is because I have control of it, and I can show you both sides. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Invite. The invite process usually takes anywhere between five minutes and even sometimes up to 12 hours. So here we are in our email inbox. If you go to the social section, you may actually notice that uh, your invite went there. It could have also gone to promotions or possibly even spam. So we'll go ahead and click that and we'll go to become a manager. And then you hit accept. Now this is all user side. This is what the person that you're inviting does. And then click Manage Page. They can now fully act as you on Google Plus and YouTube. So this is not something you want to hand out lightly, but it is something that's a lot better than giving someone your username and password. Now when you log into YouTube, you will be greeted by a screen kind of like this that allows you to choose who you're going to act as. Now, of course, this is all on the user side. This is the person that you're inviting. So you can choose to act as, for instance, me, Spitfire25565. Now, once they're logged in, they'll be able to choose who they would like to switch to. They can choose between whatever accounts they have. This makes for really easy and quick transitions between accounts. It's also important to note that you can revoke this access at any time without the other party's consent. So for instance, let's say you have a channel partner who decides that they no longer want to help you out on your channel. You can go and revoke manager access using the same process we use to give it to them and then give it back at a later time should they decide they want to come back. You can also add multiple managers. So if you have a channel that has maybe six or seven collaborators, they can all have access. Have you ever used this feature before? Are you going to in the future? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. Is there anything else about Google Plus or YouTube you'd like to know? Again, let us know. Till next time, I'm Anthony with School. Like, subscribe, comments please. Did you know that there was a secret plot to overthrow the teddy bear? That and more in today's episode. Collaboration videos on YouTube can help you grow. That and more in today's episode.